Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for joining me for this video. I think my camera's slightly tilted. Um, you guys really enjoyed my last sorting out and decluttering my primer, concealers and setting powders. So today's video is actually going to be my final one on my makeup that I'm aware of. Um, we have done the eyeshadows, we have done the concealers, the primers, the powders, we have done the foundations, we have done the bronzers, the highlighters and blushes, but we haven't done lippies and it's the one that I was like, I don't want to do, I don't want to do it, I don't want to go anywhere near it, but we've got to get it done. Every time I start filming I'm out of breath, why? Okay, so I have got this guy up here which we're going to go from, I'm going to go through draw by draw. Um, I do have my Huda Beauty lip bullets i'm going to be keeping all of them um so i'm not going to be going through them just because i'm going to keep all of them um so yeah and let me take out draw by draw as so and we will go through so what i am going to do obviously these are the drawers right here um so yeah i have this guy right here what i'm going to do is i've got a box down here which is for decluttering and then i've got my keep box i'm trying to make sure that i don't keep as many and then i have this little acrylic storage that is underneath the camera which is basically like this but with two drawers and i'm going to put my main lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and lip liners in there i'm also going to be keeping this guy i wanted to show you this is the ColourPop lippy box i'm going to link this in the description because i generally think if you just want a universal lip liner kit and this is amazing like i feel as if i could just chuck away the rest of my lip liners and just keep the colourpop ones the colourpop formula is my favorite like lip, um, lip uh, the favorite lip liner formula ever and um, ever i've got loads of them just scattered in here as well but this comes with i don't know how oh, 40 lip liners which is perfect they do different colors they do like more of your nudes more of your browns more of your like reds and pinks they're more of like a little bit darker more grungy and then a few blues definitely something i would recommend um i think it's around 68 dollars which converts to about around 50 pounds i think so that's great if you want to get like 40 lip liners amazing um so I'm going to go draw by draw first and then I'm going to do this big draw right here and we're going to declutter everything that we possibly can. So um, first off we have it right here which is the Givenchy um, liquid lipstick. Um, to be honest I tried this once and it one it left my lips super duper red afterwards. It's quite staining but it's more of like a gloss formula so it doesn't like it doesn't have a matte feel to it or anything like that but I'm not a huge fan of this formula to be honest and maybe I should have just swatched it and seen how it was don't really not really a fan too much of the color but yeah i'm going to be getting rid of this one next we have these guys here i don't know how many i have but i know i have quite a few these are the revlon kiss cloud blotted lip colors i'm going to keep this shade right here which is the shade whipped hazelnut 013 which i'm going to keep this was really really nice um, i'm going to get rid of these two i'm going to put these in a giveaway or something or give them to my mum. these have been currently sealed up in the shades rosy cotton candy and cherries on clouds but yeah these are really cute they were gifted to me but obviously i'm going to be getting rid of them this so juicy um plumping lip gloss i don't know if i've actually used this shirt i think i might have yeah i'm going to keep this one because i do like their lip glosses just to go with an everyday lip liner i have this bare minerals gen nude which is probably my most used lip gloss currently which is the can't even one in gen nude um i love this so i'm going to be keeping that one I have the kat von d uh what's this called santa sangria oh my god i remember when i tried this in the store i was so in love with this and i emailed them and said i really really would love the shade they kindly sent this one out this is gorgeous red and i remember using at an event and i was like okay gorgeous red gonna keep this one um i have got the holly boon hb hnb cosmetics can't deal lip gloss for this for quite a while um the formula after a while started to change on me a little bit i don't know if that's like common but i'm gonna get rid of this one i've had this quite a while now i'm not really gravitate towards it i think i'm practically on end meat with it to be honest i've used this so much i did really really love it love the packaging loved it all so yeah i'm gonna be getting rid of this one I have this guy right here which is the revolution matte lip lipstick lip, no liquid lipstick this is sealed up so it's going to be going anything probably sealed i'm going to be getting rid of just because i tend to like for the revolution ones i tend to get all the shades and then i pick out which ones i love and the rest of them i don't i just give away to friends and family so this will be going shades which are in um stepping out this shade right here which is really really nice and then we have the shade spoiler alert i'm going to be getting rid of spoiler alert just because i know i won't touch it so that's going to go 
this guy right here which is the nude stick lip glaze i'm going to keep this one great little this is the nude four great little just like everyday gloss the iconic london glosses they're like my favorite plumping glosses i use this one religiously um even as just a general everyday lip balm this is great super moisturizing super nourishing even with those that i've got eczema prone skin like mine i have so much eczema around my lips but yeah this is great i'm going to keep all of these I have this gloss by Smashbox in the shade um, Peachy Keen. Again, I'm going to keep that one. This NYX lingerie lipstick, a uh, liquid lipstick, sorry. Um, I've had this for quite a while now, for a few many years, and I don't gravitate towards it anymore, so I am going to throw this away. So this is the Angelic Lip Strobe product, which I absolutely love. I, feel, I used to use this religiously at one point, so I'm going to keep this one and put it in my everyday drawer. And then we have here the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. Um, in trendsetter i'm going to be keeping i am going to do like my favorite lip videos soon um just so that i can show you my favorite everyday lip combos products etc so if you want to see my lip conduct combos and all of that then let me know these two um lip valve glosses so these are both from sleek um i have not touched open these yet i think these are in 90s baby and shimmer shimmer ya uh, this one which is night uh, shimmer shimmer ya and i'm going to get rid of 90s baby i'm going to give that to a friend these lime crime lip products um in the shade teddy bear and bleached which i'm going to keep both of them i feel um i need to use a bit more lime crime products to be honest but i don't need so many lippies yeah i'm going to keep both of these this morphe lipstick which was gifted by look fantastic this is a gorgeous nude shade i think it's one of my favorite formulas in terms of lipstick because i don't actually like lipsticks no i prefer lipsticks over liquid lipstick sorry but this is probably one of my favorite lipstick colors ever ever this is in the shade cream or cream court i have this Nip and Fab um, matte lipstick. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of their lipsticks. I did love the shades. I think the shades are stunning, but I think the formula is just not there for me. And they're very, very dry, and so I'm going to get rid of this one. A few Gerard Cosmetics lip products. Um, I'm going to only keep a few of these. I think some of these I'm going to like probably give away to friends and family. But um, I think the shades I'm going to keep are. I think I'm going to keep this shade, which is Mile High. Mile High? Yeah, Mile High. These two, I'm going to keep the shade Everything Nice instead of Sorority. So, yeah, that one's good. Rude Notorious Lip Colour, Liquid Lip Colour in the shade Below the Belt. I'm not going to keep this one. I'm not really into it that much. I've got very, very similar shades like this. So, yeah, that's going. What's this? Is this another? Oh, this is a Beauty Bakery lip um, in the shade Honey Lip Whip. Probably going to keep this one because I don't have too many um, liquid lipsticks by Beauty Bakery. So, that one I'm going to keep. Cute little mini by Kat Von D. This is the... Um, Lovecraft lippy. I'm going to keep this one. I'm probably going to put it in my travel bag. And then we have here, which is the um, this is the Gerard Cosmetics Crystal Lip Gloss. I don't know what I'm feeling about this yet, so I'm going to put this in my don't know pile. And then the last two from this drawer is the Revolution Sheer Gloss in the shade Chauffeur, which I'm going to keep because this is a great like everyday nudie gloss. And then I'm also going to keep this rain and shine lip gloss by lipstick queen i don't know if it has a shade on here but yeah i'm going to keep this as well we also have a little lip liner in here which is the sincere lip liner by um anyway anyway's lip liners i think are a pound and they're marvelous so i'm going to keep this one and i'm going to put it in a lip put it in there so that is the first little drawer one of my favourite shades from Hoodie Beauty, which is the She EO or She EO, She EO, She, I don't know, lip um Demi Matte. Demi Matte is probably one of my favourite liquid lipstick formulas. I'm not a huge fan of liquid lipsticks, but this formula I love. Favourites is the Day Slayer, which was probably the first Demi Matte I purchased myself before I got on the Hoodie Beauty PR list. So this is my favourite. I'm gonna keep uh, a, a Lime Crime lip liner, which I'm not gonna keep. This is like that sort of pink shade. I'm not gonna use it, so I'm gonna get rid of this one and give it to a friend. We then have this Nick. NYX Professional Makeup Suede Lip Liner. I saw um, a video on this um, quite a while back, so I bought it, but for some reason, I don't know, it just doesn't, like, I had to really, like, put, uh, do you know what, I'll keep it. I'll keep it, see if it works for me. This is like a brand new lip liner, but when I tried it, it just, it was so drying. The formula was very, very dry, like very, very non-pencil, like more like dry formula that it wouldn't go on my lips, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. We have this guy, which is the Primark lip liner. It was my favourite lip liner at the time. It was the toffee one. I know people went mad for this. I've had mine for years now, so this has got to go. I'm so sad to let this go. And some lip liners, which I probably don't need all of these. So I'm going to narrow these down, to be honest. So we have the um, Dry Cosmetics Ecstasy one. Um, this I'm not going to keep just because it's sort of like a cool tone. So that's going to go. 
We then have this shade by Emi Way lip, uh, lip Liner, which is in the shade Agenda. It's sort of like this red shade I'm going to get rid of. I'm going to give it to a friend because it's brand new. We then have Mudslide, which I used a lot, but I'm not going to use this again. It's sort of like this really dark brown. We then have Art Deco Lip so invisible lip contour i don't actually know what this did at the time i think it's one of those like it's clear but it like plumps your lips or something but yeah this isn't for me we have the huda beauty spice girl lip liner so if i wanted a brown lip liner this is the one i'm going to go for so i'm going to keep this one um we then have the revolution lip liner do you remember when they used to do those like duos they used to have a lip liner with the lipstick i love them um, i got this in echelon but i've had this for so long now i am going to get rid of this we have a sleek lip liner, I think. I think. I'm not going to use this, probably. Um, this doesn't even want to open. This is such a pale shade, so I am sadly going to get rid of this one. We then have the Illamasqua colouring pencil in the shade... Where are you? Undressed. I picked this one up myself when I was working with Illamasqua, so I'm going to keep that one. Then this is a really, really nice one, but I'm going to get rid of it just because I only really use it when I've literally got nothing left to use. So this is the Gosh um, Lip Liner in Nugget Crisp. I'm going to get rid of that one. And then I might keep this one. This one looks cute in Sugar and Spice by Gerard Cosmetics. I want to keep one lip liner at least, so I'm going to keep that one. Then we have this Urban Decay Little Mini Lipstick in the shade Nude. Naked? Naked? Yeah, naked. I'm going to give this to my mum, actually. Uh, just flew out and um, this has been untouched i think my mum would really really like this shade so i'm going to pass that to her this guy right here which is the revolution um decadence matte lipstick i remember using this this was such a like a cute corally shade but i've got this in the liquid liquid lip version which i prefer so i'm going to get rid of this one this hasn't been opened. This is another one of the Revolution lipsticks. I, I tell you, I get like most of them sometimes. Um, this is in rose, but I'm going to give this away. I have Head Turner from Makeup Revolution, which has gone a bit funny, I think. It's gone a, bit, a little bit like fuzzy. I might just, you know what, I'll keep it because it does look all right. It just looks as if it's been in the freezer. So yeah, I'm going to keep that one. This right here, which are... These are like some really nice lipsticks here. My mum is going to go absolutely mad when she sees these. She's going, I want them, I want them, I want them. Um, so I'm not too sure on what the shade names are, which is a bit of keep both of these and probably give one of these to my mum because she would really, really like these. These are going in my, which shade am I going to keep? I'm going to keep one of the shades. No, I'm going to give them both to my mum because I think my mum would really enjoy these. But I do have a lot of other lipstick queen products coming, so bear in that mind. I think this is one of my favourite Revolution lipsticks, but I am going to have to get rid of this because I've had it for so long. Um, this is the lipstick, I don't even know what shade this is in. This is in, oh, Rebellious. This is the Revolution Pro Supreme lipstick. This is stunning, but I am going to get rid of this just because I've had it for so long and I haven't touched it since I loved it. We have two more Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks. So this is that, like, shimmery type one, which, to be honest, for me, actually didn't work on my lips. I didn't like it. I don't know why I kept it, so I'm going to get rid of that one. We then have also between the sheets, oh, this nude here, which I'm going to keep because it's like a really orangey nude, which I love. So I'm going to keep that one. This, oh, I like this. This is the um, Blooming Blush Lipstick Queen lipstick. So I'm going to keep that one. I do like a little blush shade. But then I have these two glosses, which to be honest, I don't know what I'm feeling about them. I think they're too out there for me. These are the, going to get rid of both of these and pass them on to someone who would use them. I have this Zoella X Colourpop lip liner in Little One. Um, it's not my jam, to be honest. I do like Colourpop lip liners, but the shade doesn't show up on my skin tones. So I'm going to be getting rid of that. So lip gloss, which I'm going to keep because I love Kiko lip glosses. This is such a cute shade as well, so I'm going to keep this one. If for those that are wondering, this is in the shade 05. All of these, which I do not need, um, to be honest, I'm probably going to get rid of this shade. Um, this shade this shade this shade so like I, I don't really wear those type of shades um out of all of them i think i'm going to keep these two right here which is the shade do you mind and outburst i have this um what's it this is the lime crime oh beauty bakery lipstick in peanut butter luster which i've not touched yet so that's going to be going to another home i have this illamasqua lip Quid lip thing i love these i did a campaign for them which i was so excited for and it was amazing this was my favorite shade out of all of them which is the shade melba i love this shade stunning shade gorgeous love it 
then have these two glosses right here which i feel are in the same shade um I'm going to keep both of these because I really did like their glosses. I'm going to use these in the summertime, so I'm going to put them near the front of my drawer. This is the shade Cherry Pop, and this is the shade Apricot Pot. Pot. So here is a, another drawer done. A drawer which isn't too, too packed up. Um, so let's start. So we have the So Juicy, another So Juicy lip gloss I'm going to keep. And um, we have this guy right here, which is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. This is still in its packaging. This is the Sugar Mama one. I don't know if I'm going to keep this, so I'll put this in my I Don't Know pile. We then have this lip liner by MUA, which is the Obsessions one, which I'm not going to use because it's way too dark for me. We have this little cute set by ABH, which of course I'm keeping. I don't like to get rid of the packaging, so I'm going to keep all of these. The... We have all of the... Um, Illamasqua, uh, what do you call these? The loaded lip polishes. Um, I have all of them. I don't need all of them, um, which is cute, but I'm gonna probably just declutter the ones that I'm not gonna probably use again. Um, so, if I open these. So I'm gonna keep the shade Grind, which is this beautiful, like, pinky shade. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna keep the shade Vogue, which looks like a really cute, like, pink, so I'm gonna keep that one. That look, one looks exciting to use. These, which are the Bella Pierre lip gloss so we have bubblegum vanilla pink uh very berry and everyday so i'm going to be keeping these two nude shades you can just probably tell what i'm keeping and what i'm not and then i'm going to get rid of these shades right here and lastly in the straw we have the moolak liquid lipstick which is in ladylike i think i might be keeping this one yeah this is actually i don't know yeah i'll keep this shade this seems like a quite a nice like deep nude if i want to go for more of a grungy look so i'm going to keep that one don't even ask me why I have pencils and sharpeners in here because I don't know. I really don't. My life is a mess. My life is a mess. Um, so we also have this lip treat, like lip quad from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have so many of these and I just have so many lipsticks by Revol um, Anastasia. I don't even think this has been opened yet. So um, I might give this to a friend just because I don't need that many shades of red, which is cute, but I've not opened these yet. So yeah. But the Pixie by Petra Matte Last Liquid Lip in the shade Berry Beautiful. Don't think I've touched this yet. I probably won't because, yeah, this is the shade right there. It's not really my sort of shade. A bit too much for me, so I'm going to get rid of that one. This I will keep because I love their um, Lip Lift Max um, in the Ice Petal. This is gorgeous. So I'm going to keep that one. Of course, we have my Fenty um, Unbutton, what's this called, Stunner Lip Paint. I'm, gonna, of course, going to keep that one. I also have this Gerard Cosmetics um, lipstick, Hydra Matte Lipstick Long Wear. This is not my sort of shade, so that will sadly be going also. It's Revlon Gloss in the shade. This doesn't have a shade. Doesn't want to have a shade. Oh, it's Act Natural. Act Natural, this one, which I'm going to keep. So, the last few that we have. So, we have these four glosses by Revlon as well. I'm not going to be using any of these because they're still in the packaging as usual. Um, these are quite cute shades. I might see if my mum wants this shade. Um, but, yeah, these are all going. I have the Huda Beauty um, Crush Lipstick. Um, this looks like a cute shade, so I might keep this one. To show you my Anastasia Beverly Hills drawer. So this has all of the PR lipsticks that I have going on right here. I'm going to be keeping all of this just because they're great to have on you. And their lipsticks are marvellous. So are these. These are like my favourite shades. So these are like my top ones. We have the shade um, Caramel, which is like obviously blurry right now. We have the shade Ashton. We have the shade, I think this might be Toast. Yep. Um, we have the shade Stripped, I think this might be yep stripped and then this gloss here is stunning like it's absolutely gorgeous this is in the shade estella so yeah this is my like and this is so heavy oh my god the anastasia beverly hills drawer which i have going on right here so all of those drawers up there are done now we move on to this guy right here so this is the drawer that we have going on right here. We're just going to start um, and pick out what we're going to pick out. So we have here the Too Faced um, Juicy, is it Juicy Fruity? Um, Juicy Fruity or something like that. This is that, their collection. Um, this is the Grim and Bear It lip gloss, which I'm going to keep. This is like a gorgeous colored lip gloss. Going to keep that one. 
We then have the Bombshell Huda, Huda Beauty Liquid Lip. I'm going to keep this on because I love her liquid lips. We then have, oh, this is the, this is an eyeshadow stick. What is wrong with me? That's my eyeshadow stick. We then have another Colourpop So Juicy Lip Gloss. I'm going to keep these because I love my lip, Colourpop lip glosses. We then have this guy right here, which is from Lime Crime, which I'm not going to use because it's not my sort of tone of um, shade. A lot of Lime Crime's colours are not my jam, which is fine. Um, but they do come out with some really nice shades anyway, but this is going to go. We have my MUA Honeyed Lip Gloss, which I love, so that is a keeper. We then have these from NARS. These are the Velvet Matte Lip Pencils. So we have the shades. This shade right here, which is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous nude in the shade um, Good Times, which I'm going to keep. And then we have the shade Cruella, which I think is like a red, I think. Yeah, I've not used this yet, and I don't think I will use this. So this is going to be going to a friend or family member. I have this guy, which is called Immortal Red by NARS. Have I opened this? I don't know. I haven't touched this yet. I'm probably not going to. It's not my sort of shade. So that's also going to be going. I do love NARS products though. They are one of my favourites. The All Natural Moisturising Lip Colour by Pixi. Um, this one right here. Um, this is in the shade Peony. Um, I'm not too, I haven't tried any of these yet. I've got so much that I just, just need to get rid of it all. I might have to do this in two parts to be honest. So this is interesting. I'm going to keep this one because I want to know what it does. I want to see how it works. It's got actually like cardboard tubing, which is a bit strange for like Pixie, but yeah, keep this. The Virgo um, Lime Crime Matte Lipstick, which I think is going to be super pale for me. Um, this is the shade right here. I'm going to keep this one because I feel as if with a nice brown lip liner, this is going to look stunning. So I will keep that one lip liners i have in here and uh, not all of them but just the ones that i can just currently see beginning we have the emmy way sincere ink intense color lip liner which i'm going to be getting rid of it's sealed up someone else can probably use that we also have the oh, another obsessions lip liner i have like loads of these the same like really dark grungy color we have the bombshell lip liner by Huda beauty which i'll be keeping we have the in TLC lip liner by Emiway, which I'll be keeping. This is a great shade, like a great overall nude shade. Um, I will, if I could have time to swatch them all, I would, but I can't right now. This is the Lord and Berry lip liner in Rusty. This is a really, really nice lip liner, but I just don't feel as if I'm going to gravitate towards it anymore. We then have the Rom Romance lip liner by Emiway. This is so paley pink, it's got to go. <laughs> We have a Diva Emiway lip liner. Emiway's lip liners are incredible. I'm not going to lie to you. I think they're like a pound or a pound fifty. So definitely invest in them. But this one is going to go. We have the Sleek Locked Up lip liner. I don't know. This is like, doesn't even want to show up on me. So that's sadly going to go. This one also has, it has no lid. And this is the Culture Couture lip liner from Emiway also. We also have another gosh lip liner. This is the ultimate lip liner with a twist, the red. Um, I don't see myself, I don't think I've even used this yet. I don't think I have friends that will probably take this because I've used, no, I have swatched it. Oh, I have used it, okay. A long time ago. I think I've had this for years. A lip liner I will be keeping, which is the Huda Beauty Heartbreaker lip liner. This is a great red, so I'm going to keep that one. And then I don't know how about this. I don't know how I feel about this lip lip colour. This is the Sher lip liner by um, Gerard Cosmetics. I'm not sure how I feel about this. So I'm probably going to get rid of this one. So huh. we have the Makeup Anyway Lipstick and Obsession. Not keeping. I'm going to go through this really quick, guys, because I just feel like I'm not going to get anywhere if I just keep talking in depth for these products. We have the Revolution Ice, Di Ice Diamond Precious Stone Lip Topper. I'm going to keep this one. Um, we have... The Obsessions l l uh, Glass Lip Gloss. Going to keep this one for like an everyday lip gloss. We then have this Pout Bomb by um, Revolution. These are probably like my favourites. And they're dupes for the Fenty Bombs. Um, well, that's glossy. Um, I'm going to keep this one just because I like the shade. Which is cute. 
the new neutrals by revolution pro remember i did a video on this this is such a pale shade it looks gorgeous but it just doesn't want to show up on my skin so this one is probably going to go to my mum i have this smashbox always on lips liquid lipstick um i don't really oh no i do see myself wearing this i'm going to keep this one i see myself wearing this in a, like a tutorial or an event so i'm going to keep that one i have the magnetic lip uh plush paints by uh, nude stick my mind is going funny this is in sweet sangria i'm going to keep this one because this will be cute in the summer anti gloss bomb in the shade sweet mouth of course i'm going to be keeping that one we then have this all natural moisturizing lip color in primrose i'm not going to keep this because i know i'm not going to touch the shade and i already have one a splash cosmetics uh, lip gloss in the shade um cassio or cassio i'm not going to keep this one don't see myself touching it again we then have the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss in the shade Spring Bliss. I don't see myself touching this shade, to be honest. It hasn't even been opened, so that's going to be passed along to a friend. I have this Dear Dahlia um, Dream Velvet Tint, I think. This tint. This looks like a really cute colour, to be honest. Like, I'm quite impressed with the colour. Um, I'm going to keep this one. This is like a really, really cute pink for like an everyday look. So I'm going to keep that one by Dear Dahlia. This is like a Korean or Asian brand. I'm not too sure. Bobbi Brown lipsticks by by the Bobbi Brown. These are in Peach Passion, Peach Passion and Rosy Dreams. So this is Rosy Dreams, which I'm not going to keep because I know I won't touch that shade. And then we have um, Peach Passion, which is this one, which I've used and I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to keep that one my darling charlotte tilbury in the shade pillow talk of course i'm keeping this this is going in my top drawer i need to remember to put that in my top drawer um we have this lip glow oil by revolution not revolution revlon in the shade uh glowed up rose i'm going to keep that one and then we also have this lipstick queen gloss um i think this is like this one of these pout gloss in mirrors um lip surge plumper so this is one that plumps your lips so i'm going to keep that one we have here two nip and fab lipsticks again i'm not going to keep these because i'm not a fan of the formula we have this lingerie gloss by nyx in the shade sable i'm going to keep this just to finish it because i remember this when this came out i think it was last year or so i went mad for this i really wanted this so badly i got it and then i feel now it's coming to the end of its lifespan so i am gonna oh this is 18 months okay so i've got a little bit longer so i'm gonna put this in my top drawer we have this revolution pro supreme matte lip pigment in the shade illusion i remember buying these i'm not going to keep these because these were gorgeous on the lips though i remember using these loads but I feel as if it, my time with them has gone. So we have loads of these lipsticks by Revolution, which, to be honest, um, some of them I've opened and they're cute. So, for example, like this one in the shade Teddy, I'm going to keep. Cute shade. Um, we have the shade Love, which is open, but I don't know why, because I... So we have the shade Naked, which I'm definitely going to be keeping. That's a gorgeous, like, nude shade. Mom can probably have that one. This pop of pink, which, of course, I'm not going to touch. I don't think anyone... Uh, I don't know. Maybe... So I'm not going to touch this one, so that's going to also go. We have this shade, which doesn't have a lid. I don't know why it doesn't have a lid. Why don't you have a lid? I can't find the lid for now. I will find the lid, but yeah, I think I might keep that one. That lip tint by Bobby Brown. Um, what are these meant to do? Right, I'm going to keep this because I think these are meant to be lip balms. I'm going to read into them because I'm not too sure what they're meant to do, but I'm going to keep them anyway. We have another um, Matte Last Liquid Lip in the shade uh, Caliente Coral. So, I'm going to get rid of that one. We have here the liquid lip. This is such huge packaging, isn't it? Oh, ooh, that is not... Look at that. That's divine. I think, do you know what? Some of these lips are just cute for, um, like, sitting on your window sill, like, sitting on your vanity. I'm going to keep this one just for vanity. I know that sounds ridiculous, but that just looks cute on, like, yeah, I love that. I'm going to keep that one. We have some more Smashbox lipsticks here. I think there might be a few more. Um, 
this one right here which is the shade recognized um oh i like that one also i'm gonna keep that one and then this one is in the shade best life which i don't know if i'll keep this one oh i might no, i'm gonna keep both of them i'm gonna keep both of them see what i mean i'm hoarding already i need to stop doing this i need to stop hoarding cookie not my cookie but this lip plumping gloss also from revolution gonna get rid of that one yeah so this shade right here which i know i'm not going to really use it's not my sort of jam so that is going and we have the bobby brown lip color uh, this is another one. What colour is this? Oh, this is like a red. That's stunning. That is actually really stunning. Um, that's really nice. That's really, really nice. So, um, But sadly, I'm probably going to give this to my mum. So that's going to go. It's Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in this shade Vixen. Um, I'm not going to keep this shade. I don't really like brown, so that's going to go. We have the clear um, Illamasqua gloss in this shade. Glaze, of course, I'm going to keep this because I like the, just the average clear gloss. We have another Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. Love this, so keeping that one. Another Bobbi Brown lipstick in the shade um, Ruby, Rare Ruby. Rare Ruby. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. But again, I'm not going to use... I love Bobbi Brown packaging. Look how luxurious that looks. Um, so that is sadly going to go another crazy color by color um not color pop lime crime which i'm going to get rid of because i know i just won't touch this we have one of my favorites which is the dose of colors knock on wood lips liquid lipstick i don't know how long until this is going to run out but or like go expired but i'm going to keep this one we then have this guy which is by inner mascara as well which is in flash not my sort of jam very editorial so i'm going to get rid of that one this lip gloss by Bella Pierre, which I'm not, I know I'm not going to touch, so that is going to go. Two more of these Revolution Plo lipsticks in the shade, or liquid lipsticks in the shade, Affection and Veil. I remember buying these, I love them, but again, my time with them has ended. We have another Nip and Fab lip gloss, a lips, liquid lipstick in the shade Spice. They're, I love all of their colours, I love the Nip and Fab colours, but the formulas are just not it for me. So then we have the rest of the Revolution little lipsticks, so these are all going to be passed on um to another home so yeah another one that i'm letting go of which is the bella pierre glitz it up one in mall um so that one's going we have a nars i think this one's loving lips i love this one i think i think i really really like this one so this one i'm gonna keep hold of i think i use this one no i haven't no, I haven't touched this one yet. I thought it was the one that I touched. There must have been a different one. So I am going to sadly get rid of that one as well. Because I buy a sleep, which is their lipsticks. Um, I have way too many of these. Again, I don't need them all. So I'm going to declutter them down to ones that I am going to be wearing. Um, because I, because when I have too much of something, which I'm grateful for, I then just it stops me from wearing them again. Um, so this shade, I'm probably... I'll, t I'll keep that actually that's a cool, that's a weird kind of shade that i'll probably wear um we have this one right here which is this shade which is gorgeous i will keep that which is in the shade um my neck my back we have this guy which i know i'm definitely not going to touch again which is in the shade um no diggity I'm definitely not going to be touching that again we have this one which is a cute little pink shade which i'll be using which is the shade my boo we have the uh, No Diggity, which I'm not going to be touching, did I? Just have, which is not my kind of shade. And then we have California Love, which again is not my shade, so I will sadly be getting rid of all of those. But they are very, very cute and the formula is lovely. We also have another one here, which is the shade uh, More Money, More Problems, which again I won't be keeping and not my kind of shade. Um, so we are clearing this out, people, which is... We are keep it clearing this out, which is making me happy. Oh, I found my favourite one. So this is in candy. I love this so, so much. I'm so glad I found this because I was looking for this everywhere. I love, 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 love. Um, we have the red one, which is in the shade Juicy, which I'm going to be getting rid of because I know I'm not going to touch it. These two by Physicians Formula, which is the Healthy Lip Velvet Finish. These haven't been opened. I'm not going to... If anything that's not opened, I'm not going to be keeping because I know I just won't open it. So, yeah, these are going 
have the Smashbox um, Shimmer Nova lip gloss, which is gorgeous. I'm going to keep that one. We then have these two by Physicians Formula. I remember, I think I tried these and I don't know if you can tell inside. They're just not it for me. So they're both going. We have these two by um, Bobbi Brown. This one is in the shade uh, Forever Chill and this one's in the shade Wild Card. I'm not going to use this one, but I'm going to keep this one. Rev, rev, uh, rev, oh, I can't talk. We have this Revolution lip gloss in the shade Vow, which I'm going to... Okay, I might not keep this one. This one doesn't look too... This one looks a bit ill, doesn't it? Yeah, that one's going. Um, I'm going to keep, I think, out of the two of these, these are both the same shade. I'm going to keep the gloss because I prefer the gloss formula to these. And this is in Decadence. Also, this is in Decadence, but I'm going to get rid of this one. It's by MUA also, which I'm going to go through now and pick the ones that I will keep. So we have Sincere. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep that one. These, this is Mystic. I'm going to keep that one. This is heartbro Heartfelt, I'm going to keep that one. This is Survivor, I'm not going to keep that one. This is Heartbreaker, I am not going to keep that one. This is Bonafide, uh, this one broke, okay, definitely not keeping that one. But that's a very, very cute nude. And then we have uh, Infatuation, which, no, I'm not going to keep that one, not a fan formula is lovely though so i am going to keep these two and so we have here the ilamasca coloring pencil in the shade spell i'm going to keep we have the lip contour in trendset by huda beauty going to keep we have the fancy intense lip lip liner by any way not going to keep we have the lip coloring pencil in the shade raw by ilamasca going to keep very gorgeous nude we then have melrose place by uh gerard cosmetics i'm not going to keep we have a liner, a Lord Berry liner. Love that. Gonna keep that one and put it in my drawer. <laughs> and then we have here the sleek locked up um, lip liner in Bad Your Bad. I'm gonna keep this one. That looks nice. I like that. Yeah, gonna keep that. So we then have this Illumasca one, which again, I don't see myself touching. So that's gonna go. So we then have this Huda Beauty Demi Matte in the shade Sharika. Um... I'm going to keep this. I like the look of this colour. So, yeah, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to keep it. Colourpop Ultra Blotted Lip Colour in the shade uh, Swing Away, which I'm not going to keep. Soft Matte Cream in London, which I'm going to keep. I need to use this in more of my trios. Pop Spring Roll. Uh, this is cute. I might keep this one. I like this one. This is really, really cute. So, I'm going to keep that. Two more lippies by Illamasqua. Again, these shades are like very out there. Actually, I like that shade. I think I'm going to keep that one. This is in the shade um, Blaze. I'm going to keep that one just for a little bit of pop of colour. And then we have Fahrenheit, which again, I won't really see myself using. So I'm going to get rid of that one. We also have one of my favourites from Illamasqua. This is the shade that they picked for me, which is that red in vain. It's a gorgeous red shade. So I'm going to keep that one. Flora lippies. Oh, we have another one right here. Um, so these are the shades, all the shades that I have currently. Um, so I'm not going to keep all of these because I don't need them all. This shade right here, I'm not going to keep. I have not touched. Um, so this is the shade 05. I have not touched this. No, I haven't. So that is going to go. We have this colour right here, which is in number 15, which is so interesting to look at. Like, the, it's just so interesting. But again, I've not got to touch that. We have this one in the shade Latte Lips, which I might keep this one. I like this one. I'm going to keep that one because I like the look of that. And then we have this one right here, which is in Pure Rose, which I'm probably going to give to my mum. That smells gorgeous. And then we have this one right here, which is in the shade Autumn Timber, which is lovely, but I don't really see myself using that. So again, that is going to go right here because I did work with Kiko. This is a beautiful on top shimmer. So I'm going to keep this one. This is an 01. And then we have these two, which I, to be honest, I'm not really too sure about. Don't think I've touched this one. Oh, we also have this guy as well, which... Is in O2. I don't know why I have two of them. No, get rid of this one and 
going to get rid of this one because I don't need it. And then I'm going to keep this one. Oh, we have two more lip liners that are running around. So this is the Floor Mart lip liner in the shade. Doesn't want to have a shade. Doesn't have a shade on it um, anyway, but that's the lip liner. I'm probably not going to keep that one. That's going. And then also we have here the Big Gel Pencil. This is the Long Wet Eyeliner. Oh. Oh, by Avon. That's quite cute, but I'm not going to use this. Beauty, which is the Kat Von D Go Lolita. OG Lolita um, in this this slightly beautiful shade right here. So I'm going to keep that one by Kat Von D. These guys right here by Pop Beauty, which were the ones that I picked out that I was going to keep. To be honest, I probably only see myself keeping this shade right here, which is Butter Babe and probably Plump Peach. So these two. And then the rest of these are probably, because they've not been opened, are probably going to go to another home. We have a lip uh, contour by Huda Beauty. This is a lip liner of hers. I don't think you guys realise how happy I am to have sorted this all out. Like, I've sorted this all out. I'm so proud of myself. This. Oh, I'm going to keep this. This looks so different. Is that me? Or do they look so different? Okay, I'm going to keep that now. <laughs> Kiko one, which I'm going to keep. This is a gorgeous shade to just wear on the lips. We have the Lip Revolve Transforming Lip Topper by Sleek, which I'm probably not going to keep because I think I have a double of this somewhere, so I'm going to get rid of this one. We have another Bobbi Brown um, Oil Fluzed Lip Gloss in Slow Jam again. It's not a shade that I would typically wear, so I'm going to give that to a friend. We have here some two more sleek products. Um, so these are the Major Morphosis ones. I love this shade. This shade is stunning. So I'm going to keep that one. But I'm not going to keep this one because I don't really see myself wearing it again. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. We then have these two by Miss Ling. Um, with Miss Ling. These are really, really pretty. They're really, really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're really pretty in formula. Um, might keep one of these. I'm probably not going to keep this shade because this shade is probably not my jam. Um, so that one is going to go and I'm going to keep this shade which is in the shade 320. Project Lip. Oh, that's a lippy. We also have my Project Lip collection. Not my one personally, but the ones that I use. Um, I like these. I'm going to keep the gloss because the gloss is really, really lush. Um, I also like, I'm trying to think. Um, this is the primer which I'm also going to keep. And then I don't want all of these shades, to be honest, because they're all really, really lovely, but I don't need all four. Um, so I'm probably just going to keep these shades. Probably going to keep the shades Play and Dare and then get rid of the shades Strip and Bare. Um, so yeah, uh, which is pretty cute by a deck of Scarlet. Um, I'm not going to keep, this is an eye pencil, I think. Um, which I'm not going to be keeping and then I'm going to keep this little red right here because I do really really like the shade I think it's like a lip lacquer um, so yeah I think that's a really really pretty shade we have this Colourpop Lippy in the shade Chi Chi which I am not too sure on keeping because it's very like a vibrant -y... you know what I'll keep it I'm going to get out of my comfort zone and I'll keep it um, in more and more ex Sean. She was on the circle. Um, these liquid lips. I'm going to give this one to my mum. And I'm going to keep this one. Because this one looks like a really, really nice shade. The NYX. Not NYX. Nude Stick Magnetic Lip in the shade Bahama Mama. Again, I'm going to keep these. I love the formula on these. They're amazing. Oh, geez. This is probably the oldest... Oldest, oldest lipstick in my collection this is the revolution echelon lipstick this is the one that went with the lip liner i've had this for years now so it's sadly going to be going but this formula was bomb back in the day we have this memi high shine gloss is this a gloss have i used this yet oh i might keep that shade that shade looks nice so i'm going to keep this one not too sure on my jam with this because this was gifted to me in a gift bag this is the hot ombre cosmetics liquid lip i know cc clark i don't really watch her but i've seen her face on this brand she raved about this but i remember using it and it was the most drying thing that it was on my lips like was the most drying thing like i thought the nip and fab lipsticks were dry but this was dry so yeah, it's the Immortal Matte Lip Ombre Kit. I'm going to keep it because I like the idea of it. And I'll see if it works if I wear like a lip balm underneath. But yeah. 
We then have this gloss, um, Angelis by Colour um, not Colour Pop. What the hell? Smashbox in the shade Honey. I'm gonna keep that one, of course. We then have this drawer is disgustingly dirty. We have this one in Underground by um, Gerard Cosmetics. That is going because I know I won't touch that. And then we have this Gerard Cosmetics lip shade in the shade Red Brick Road. Uh, no, it's not for me. It's cute though. We then have the Pixie by Petra um, Really Rose lip product, which is it's nice, but I don't know. Like, I feel as if I've probably, I think I've got this already in my collection. So sadly, that is going to be passed on to my mum. Then we have another Dear Dahlia product. I've got more underneath in a minute, so I will show you in just a second. Um, so we have this one, which is like this red shade, which I'm probably going to pass on to a friend. Iconic London. I didn't know what this was at first. This is the Plump and Gloss in Nearly Nude. This is super duper gorgeous. I'm going to keep that one. We have this NYX lingerie lipstick in the shade Cabaret Show or Cabaret Show or whatever. Um, I'm not going to keep this because I've had this for years now, for literally years. Then we have this Revlon lip, which that went, that literally just went straight in the bin where I think it's like straight in the bin. Ooh, that is cute. That is cute. I'm not going to keep this one, but that would be gorgeous that someone was at someone would absolutely love this i give a lot of my makeup to charity and um, to or to women's shelters that are quite local so yeah it's a little set which this is a stamp it's a milk makeup stamp i don't know why i have that um we have here the smashbox lipstick in the shade is this why is this not gonna open why are you not gonna open for me open this is the shade right here. I'm going to keep this one because I feel as if it's going to be cute and it's new as well. So I want to see how I work with it. And then we have this um, lip laminate by Sleek. This lip laminate by Sleek. I don't really see myself using this, to be honest. This would be cute as a base. I know it's a lip colour, but eye base would be sick in Cherry Bomb. So that's going to go. We then have this last shade called Trinity by Lime Crime which isn't my jam to be honest it's a bit too cool tone for me so i am going to be getting rid of that and then we have these shades by well and wild which are actually really cute i love this shade this is the new, their new formula this is the mega matte in sandstorm i'm going to keep stand, sandstorm but i'm going to get rid of this shade which i haven't opened yet which is the shade um raining rubies i don't know if you can tell what kind of shade that is but that's not my jam so that drawer is done okay guys so i took a little bit of a break um because my battery needed to charge um and so we're just going to carry on from where we was at before um so we have the for you it's just like another clip for me it's literally like i've got to now get back my into so i've got to get back into, into showing you the products so we have here some lip queen products so these are like what are these meant to be they're meant to be like lip mousses which looks pretty cool um this looks like a nice shade um yeah i see myself wearing that so i'm gonna keep that one this is quite a few of these away to my friends and family just because ooh, just because i knew they would be using these so this is another one in nude nude a la mode and this is another mousse, which I'm probably going to be keeping. Yeah, I like also that colour. I like Lipstick Queen's colours because their, their colours are, are right up my alley. So that's a nice one. This is another one in Cake Batter. Um, so this is like a lip powder. Um, so it's like it's a velvet lip powder. So it goes on. I don't know how it actually goes on, actually. How is this supposed to work? Okay, so you sort of like pat it on on top of like your lip liner or whatever. So I'll keep that shade because that shade looks right up my alley also um so another moisturizing lip color by pixie i want to see what the shade looks like because this looks like a really nice like everyday shade okay it's a little bit darker than what it i thought it was going to be i'm probably going to gift this one also um just because i feel as if i've got way too many like pixie lips and i don't need as many um i've got way too many lip products in general so here we have a intense satin lipstick in the shade scarlet from dear dahlia which is a, i think it's a korean brand asian brand i'm not too sure oh that's pretty again this is not my sort of shade so i am gonna get rid of this um so yeah when i say get rid of i mean gift 
Um, so here we have Carnival by Dear Dahlia, which is a lip tint. So it's not the, the lipstick before, it's a lip tint. Again, ooh, like a lovely red. But again, then I have way too many, like, I'm only really going to keep my nudes and stuff. If I need a red, I'll probably just go for the ABH one, the Huda Beauty. So yeah. Av, Av. I also have all of these by Mulac, which look really nice. I think they're different formulas in these, to be honest. I, I'm just looking at these now and I'm going, these are definitely... These are all definitely different formulas. Um, to be honest, these ones are the ones that are screaming my name. These ones are not. So all of these four are going to go. Actually, I quite like the look of that one. I'm going to keep this one. This one looks cute. This one is in Touchy. That's the shade right there. That looks really nice. But these ones are the ones that are probably going to go. And also this one. These four right here, which are like these gorgeous nude shades, which I'm going to be keeping. These are like gorgeous shades. And then, of course, that one on the end. So I will be keeping these. So these are psychic glosses. So there's a plumping lip gloss. Okay, so they're all lip glosses. I thought they were going to be like some were liquid lips, some were lip glosses, but these are all lip glosses. This one's probably going to be my favourite one, so I'm keeping all of these. Two Wet n Wild lipsticks also. These are in the shades Never Nude and Skinny Dipping. I'm going to keep both of these because these actually look right up my alley. So I don't know if I can see there. I'm not going to open these just in case I don't end up using them, but yeah, love the look of them. Two lip products that we have here are from Iconic London again. This is the... Nearly Nude Gloss right here, which again is one of my favourites. And then we have the Oh My Gloss by Rimmel, which is actually really, really nice. I'm sorry if you can hear my family in the background. They are quite loud. But yeah, um, this quarantine is like, yeah. Um, but yeah, so um, this is a really, really nice gloss. I think this is in the shade um, Glossy Cat, Pearl Glossy Cat. This is really, really nice. So yeah, this is another gloss that I'll be keeping. Okay, so this is everything I'm actually keeping. It seems like a lot in this box, but I am quite proud of how much we decluttered. These are all the ones that I actually need to be thrown away. And then I have here the ones I'm gifting to my friends and family. So there's a lot of stuff that I haven't touched that is going to be gifted to my friends and family, hopefully. Um, I don't know why that's in there. That's going over there. No, that's going over there. <laughs> um so yeah um this is everything that's going to be gifted okay so it's currently a few days later um it is the 24th i'm not actually 100 sure when i filmed this but it is a friday today it's friday today i did actually get through everything um obviously you would have seen by now um i am going to show you one of my drawers is actually really dirty so i really do apologize for that but i was actually able to get everything into one two three four five six seven drawers seven like those acrylic drawers so i'm so happy about that and um, i really decluttered and I, what i've done is i've put two acrylic drawers onto my normal everyday makeup desk so i know that those are the ones that i gravitate towards the most so the lip liners lip glosses lipsticks my jam and then the other ones that i don't really gravitate towards to as much or that i haven't gotten around to using yet i've put up there which is the acrylic storage which i'll show you in a second then i have all of my hidden beauty lip bullets and um, i love these so these go up here just because they're really cute so obviously of course i have my ColourPop lippy pencils uh, so i have the anastasia beverly hills ones down there i have just i've just literally i've just fitted what i can into drawers like i've not been too manic about it i have got some space in this one which is great i've got lipsticks and then some more lipsticks and liquid lipsticks so that's that one let me just put those back there because that i like how that looks then this little drawer right here which it's filthy i'm so sorry um this has my everyday go-to liquid lipstick so we've got this set right here which is absolutely stunning you would have seen in my previous video i've been using this this is absolutely gorgeous i love this would 100 recommend this if you want to see what my thoughts are on this please head over to my previous video um we then have like my main just lip glosses liquid lipsticks in this one and then my lip liners as you guys can see my main lip liner so that's just in my everyday lip glosses so i've got my iconic lip glosses which are my favorite i've got like my fenty um revolution okay so that is the end of this video um i've done everything literally everything in my room now except for my skincare would you like me to do a skincare one i would love to do like a skincare declutter sort out all of that i did one a few months ago but i think i need to do another one asap but maybe we could do like a brush 
I like brush eyeshadow brushes face brushes do cut it as well so let me know what you think also yeah like thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you've enjoyed this series I have loved it also like I've love love loved it so thank you thank you so much for watching and taking your time out of your day to watch me this is probably a really long video I've filmed this for multiple days so it is a little bit like I'm just trying to remember what I've done but yeah I really really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I shall see you in my next one bye